Hi, this is Jamie with the Crafters Workshop, and this tip of the day is brought to you by Scrapbook Expo. I'm going to show you how to use one stencil three different ways. So I've got my sprays, and I've got my modeling paste, and I've got my beautiful watercolor paper by Strathmore. First thing I'm going to do is take my new stencil, and this is the organic matter stencil from Gabrielle Polacco. She's one of our newest uh, designers, and it comes in both 6x6 and 12x12. I'm going to show you how to use the 6x6 version. So here's my stencil. I'm just going to lay it down, and I'm going to take some sprays, any sprays you want, and just literally spray through the stencil. Any colors? Do this one here. Ah, pretty, pretty, pretty. Don't worry about blending. I try to stay on one side of the rainbow, so I picked some yellows, some greens, and some oranges. Now I'm going to lift up this messy stencil, and I have a lovely background. Let that dry, and from here I can make this into a card. I can layer another piece of paper onto it. I can stamp best wishes or happy birthday. So I'm going to put this aside. And now I have a very messy, wet stencil. I think I'm going to make it a little more wet. Just add a little more color. Because the next thing I'm going to do is take my watercolor paper. Notice I am using delicious watercolor paper because it is so absorbent. And I'm going to turn my stencil upside down. And here's where it comes handy to have some of your paper towel. And I'm just going to press down, roll my paper towel, press it. And I'm transferring all of that ink from my stencil onto this paper. Give it a little smush. Make sure I've gotten all the edges. Pull back. Ooh, nice. I love how all the colors blend. Now I have the reverse of my first one. Can you see the difference? And all of these delicious colors have blended together. You see how the, the greens and yellows have sort of melded. And as this dries, where these little uh, teardrops are, it'll, get, it'll be slightly darker in tone. So that's my second way to do stenciling. And the third way is I still have a dirty stencil, and I'm not ready to clean it. What I'm going to do is take a third piece of watercolor paper, put the stencil down, and this time I'm going to use my golden molding paste and a palette knife. Scoop up the molding paste from the bottom. And I say the bottom because we're going to smush and smear. Ready? Here comes the smush, smush, and now we're going to smear. So the smushing is what sticks the stencil to the surface, and the smearing obviously is what gets it all around. And what I'm doing as I'm smearing it, since the uh, sprays are water-based and the molding paste is also water-based, it's kind of picking up a little bit of those tones. So I'll just quickly smear it around a little bit at the end, just give it a little scrape. And I'm just going to pull back an edge, hold one side with one finger, and roll it back. And there you have it, some nice texture with a little bit of color. When this dries, you can actually touch it with your finger. And you can tear this, layer it, you can spray it again, do all sorts of pretty things. I'm Jamie from the Crafters Workshop, and this is your tip of the day, brought to you by Scrapbook Expo.